Hey guys, what's up? Crazy Man here with another episode of Terra Firma Craft and Death Spirit, aka Tyler or Skipper. Um, he's also here, and I wanted to start the episode off with an accomplishment. We did a little bit of work between the last episode and this one, and mainly that is getting this unshaped copper. So take this, right click with it. And then you take your mold and you pour it in. Throw your mold in there and then it'll fill up the mold in this and give you your mold full of copper. And you do this and it gives you that. Unfortunately it doesn't give you the little cast back so I'll have to remake that. But that means I have a copper pickaxe and a copper axe which will help significantly with getting charcoal. So, uh, well, I have some IRL business to attend to, so I will be right back. So, see you then. Okay, I got my pick, and now comes the fun part. Digging like crazy to try to find more metal. I got myself a few more copper tools using those little case things, and now I'm searching for a nice sample of tetrahedrite. So, very large is right here in this general area but upwards it's just large and so I think I'm gonna dig a branch downward and a branch to the right but this uh, is driving me insane I can't imagine what it's like to watch on YouTube so I will give you guys sweet mercy and come back when I find the ore Hey guys, we're back, and I just got something that you would not believe how difficult it is to get. And it's our first crafting table. Well, our crafting table, pretty much. But using that copper we got, I made myself a copper saw, and then I sawed some logs to get these planks here. Using those planks, I made blocks, sycamore planks. And using those, I just made the normal crafting table. Which means we can get more chests now. So now we have this chest up here, which I think we are going to be using for rocks and dirt. Hey, uh, James. Yes. Could you possibly excuse me? Make me a hoe because it does not want to work. It's not like sure. me right now. Thank you. Mm. And yeah, the hoes don't is. like me very much in this game. They tend not to anywhere. <laughs> hey, I see what you did there. There you go. Thank you. Now can you and give me some sticks? I also made a sight follow out there. We have no sticks, by the way. Oh, crap. Well, time to go out and get some. It's a perfect example to show off my new sight. This is a leaf harvesting tool, and also an okay weapon, 65 attack damage. Well, actually, never mind, that's a horrible weapon. The axe does more damage than that. The stone axe does. But this just gets you tons and tons of sticks really fast. It just tears right through these stupid leaves that I hate every part of my soul. Sorry if anyone heard background noise, but... Nah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Hey, but, James, yeah, the scythe uh, just tears go through everything. to the town science, because right outside of their town, there's a, a mud. So I'm going to switch there. Ooh, I'm almost dead. But anyways, come here, because they have there's a couple of trees here that's just right outside their town. Mm -hmm. So, T spawn science. Yep. Okay, this is the best town ever. And by that I mean it's horrible. Well, chopping time. I love this scythe so much. It is so much better than punching leaves. Look at that, we're almost done. You see that? You see how fast that was? Well, I died. 
but I got over a stack of sticks in that in that time. Which we need to move all of the rocks and junk out of this top chest here, or into the top chest here. I mean. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, what was that? Well, we have a ton of sticks now, so. And I also made some tools for Tyler while I had yeah. some copper. But I have been digging and digging and digging and having no luck, so I'm just starting a new mine over here. I absolutely hate that other mine that we had over there. Shh, don't tell him he's not the greatest. But we actually need more wood, so I'm going to get this. Can I just pause it real quick so that you don't have to put up to the torturous time that it takes to cut down a tree? Hey, they can see how fast my new axe is compared to the old one. Hey, that that is fast. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, Tyler can't look at that, but... Wait, something broke. Something broke. <laughs> That's not how that tree was supposed to be. Don't worry, guys. He breaks it all the time. Seriously, this tree is minecrafting. It's it's floating in midair. Does your axe have enough durability to cut all of it down? Um, my axe is almost completely repaired. Yeah, there's still a little piece just hanging in the air. I'm not going to bother cutting it down, because, yeah. But I can get a few more sticks and maybe even some saplings from this tree right here, which I think is a hickory. If James, I you am could come show him our uh, makeshift farm. Oh yeah, we never did show off that farm, did we? My farm, because you did not help in any way. Hey, so I, I was a. I am. I am a helpful James. And excuse any background noise. There are people that don't think about my recording. I will pause the recording until it's more quiet and peaceful and nice for your guys' ears. And when I'm back, we'll show off the farm. Hey, before we get back to the farm, I'm doing a little bit of decorative work and putting a, an actual entryway on our settlement, I guess we could call it. Uh, what would you call it, Tyler? Does settlement sound like the right word? Yeah, I think so. It sounds good. And I'm putting some well, doors up. Well, you guys can tell us in the comments like what we should call it. Oh, I don't like how bad it is. I don't want to waste time. What? Uh, there's a block. I don't like how it looks. And I'm starting over. You have what to you start over with the whole block on those if you mess up. Dang it. And sometimes it does something derpy like this. Yes, all the time. So I'm just going to add in enough here that you can't jump over. Dang it, why does it keep doing that? Thank you. It is very aggravating. But it is no problem. Because we have a crafting table and all of this. So I'm going to make the other door. And let's see. How do you make pressure plates? Is it just these two planks like this? Yeah, it is. Okay, I figured out how to make pressure plates. Well, then we can make all the pressure plates. Hmm. Oh, at least we've got a way to do this. Bam. Haha. -ha. And we've got a somewhat out. safe area here. Fence post? Is that every three? Basically. Okay, I will help. We can go back and fix it if we need, need to. Okay. And you're leaving gaps of three? Okay. 
Yes. So, so we're one, doing one, aesthetic two, work. I don't know how entertaining that is, but yeah. At least we're making something look nice now. Because up and until we this will not be getting shot by skeletons anymore. So that is a uh, plus. I sure hope not. Because Tim is not the nicest guy, so. I sure hope we don't get shot anymore. I ran out of planks. Just I think arrows around. may yeah. pass through there. I made a big wood storage pile over here. Which is also going to double as a charcoal thing later. So, yeah, there's that. Can I have the saw? Yes. Do you want to just chop some up for us? Mm -hmm. mm, I was just going to take the saw because I have a bunch of wood in my inventory. Oh, where'd you go? Ah, there thank you. Just, yeah, I do too. Okay, uh, these are Douglas fir planks though. These are different. So we can use these like along the top or something. Ooh, yeah, that might look good. Oh, there's Z fighting though. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. I wish they would make change that. Yep. And I think I'm gonna go back and turn off the rain using Optifine. So details, rain and snow. Uh, oh, that's fancy. That's not what I wanted. I want off. Yep. And it is peaceful again. So gap of three and block. Gap of three, block. Gap of three, block. Gap of three. Hold on, let me see how you're doing this. Yes, you did it right. I just handled the corners as like counting the corner as another block. So. And this is kind of boring, so we'll be back when it is done to show you how it looks.